This pond three days ago did not exist here. These guys got here a day before me and when I got here, all they said was pond guy, just finish it up. So I put all the rocks in, I built the waterfalls. <laughs> True story on my channel. All right, guys, great spring break. Love you, buddy. This is my, my one son. Here's my other son, my adopted son. <laughs> Love you guys both. Have a great time. That's great serious. spring break. Yep. Big boss is here. Bye, honey. Bye. Have Safe travels. Time. Love you. Bye. I'm on my way to Paul's. Let me just pull over here for a second. I am super excited. I get to go see a guy that I've known for 14 months now, Paul Cafaro. What's up, guys? I'm Paul Cafaro. It's interesting because of how I met Paul Cafaro. I stopped by one day with Ed, Brian, and Chris when we were working with Camp Kennan. This is, to me, like the biggest gift I've ever gotten. I had seen Paul's YouTube videos and was amazed that this young guy who just built a pond in his backyard, just a standard hobbyist, had 100,000 subscribers on his channel. <laughs> Oh, oh. I didn't know where he lived. Met a guy at Kenan's house that knew him, and I said, I'd love to meet this kid. He gave me his phone number, and the next day, we stopped by, and we ended up spending about 25 minutes looking at Paul's Pond and talking to him. And I mentioned to him that I was on my way to California to go visit Logan Paul and some of the pond that I had built him. So by the time I had landed back in Chicago, I already gotten a text from Paul saying, hey, do you mind if I come and tag along with you for the week that you're visiting certified Aquascapes contractors and stop by Logan Paul's house? I brought Paul out there, and he shot a little video, and he got a lot of criticism, which is interesting because that's how I got my start. I got my start in this vlogging because Logan Paul shouted out, I uh, wanted a pond in his backyard. We're probably going to put a koi pond in there as well. I am the pond guy. People notified me and I didn't really know Logan, much about Logan Paul. I knew who he was because Brian Barczyk had done some stuff with snakes with him. 48 hours after Logan Paul shouted out that he was uh, wanted a pond, I was in his backyard designing one. For as much criticism as that guy gets, he was a cool dude. Super awesome with all of our guys who we went out there and spent two days completely building him a beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. So when I was going back out there with Paul, it's kind of funny because I now get criticism for working with Paul. Some people that think that he doesn't know a lot about fish. And here's what I say to all of those people. He's a hobbyist, he's learning, and he's passionate. Pretty much exactly like I was at 18 years old when I was a hobbyist too. People that like to criticize others, it's usually out of jealousy. It's certainly not anybody that's met Paul. I guarantee you that most people that meet Logan Paul think he's a pretty charismatic, nice dude. At least all the 45 people that I brought out there for his build a pond they did. But I'm on my way right now to meet up with some certified aquascape contractors, Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens out in New Jersey, Ralph Pondscapes of Arizona, Weston uh, Tussie Landscaping out of Pennsylvania, and we are going to put Paul's first pond in in his backyard. Those guys have started that pond. Next scene that you're going to see is us going in the backyard and finishing that pond for Paul. But I resonate a lot with this kid because I was exactly like Paul was at his age. There was no such thing as YouTube back then, so I couldn't share it with the world. And I got my start when I was a 12-year-old kid, and I needed a home for my turtles that I brought from New Jersey to Chicago. And my mom and dad promised me I could bring a pond and build a pond in the backyard. And that first pond I made out of concrete, and it leaked, turned green, and even my prized turtles migrated away. And that was the beginning of my odyssey. Paul had a traditional homeowner-built pond. He was just trying to figure things out just like I did. The difference with Paul and me, he's got YouTube to share with the world and learn. It's fun for me as a 28 year owner of a business and a 37 year old hobbyist to be able to use this channel, Team Aquascape channel that we do. And Greg was with the Pond Guy. That's my lifestyle channel. Really showcase our passion and our hobby for what we do. It's guys like Paul with a million subs that are out there exposing a younger generation typically than what I would reach to what I found is a fantastic career. And I want to inspire more people to put in water features in their yards. And also if you're interested in a job or a career with water features, we have certified aquascape contractors all over the country, even the world, that are looking for passionate people. We could train for aptitude, but we hire for passion. People that really want to have careers working outside in the field. It's not easy work. When you look at a guy like Brian, who's been with me for 25 years, or a guy like Ed, who's been with me for 26, 27 years, these guys are the best in the business. They've literally spent their lives building water features, and they've literally grown up up in Aquascape. We've grown up together. It's like my big brother and Ed and my little brother and Brian. Our channel, Team Aquascape, is all about how we do things because we want to do ponds done right, customers serve right. Stay tuned. At the end of this video, we're going to do something really special. I want to get more people living the Aquascape lifestyles and I want to get more kids that are finding passionate careers. Working hard, not easy work, but it's an incredible labor of love. So stay tuned to the end of this video and you're going to see an incredible water feature and then find out how you can get your own.
right, there's Paul Kafaro, the man, the myth, the legend, wearing his pond guy gear. New merch coming out. This pond, three days ago, did not exist here, but thanks to certified Aquascape contractors, Weston, Jack, and Ralph, we created this masterpiece. Even included a little fire pit that we used last night. I think this is an absolutely spectacular water feature. And here's the coolest thing that I think about this. This is the entrance to Paul's house right here. We have now built Paul. This is your fourth pond, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, four. This is the fourth. Oh, his fourth aquascape pond. This is his first one. And we got some plans for the back, don't we, buddy? Yes, we do. Why don't we go look at that? Right? Like, I like to call it the green pool. It was blue like four days ago, but I just kind of didn't care because I knew what was coming. Are you going to put fish in it this year, or what are you going to do? Definitely <laughs> not, no. We're going to take this this concrete right here. You see this line? Yep. We're just going to pop this out and everything past this from here to the end of that concrete, this whole fence around it. Everything's coming out. We're just gonna rip it out with a big excavator and then uh I'm gonna get myself a rec pond. That's right. How big is the rec pond? Like Kennens? That would be a huge one, the one we did we did at Kennens. This is a 2020 this project. Is a 2020 project and this right here would be plenty big if we can make a pond. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. Well absolutely add to it. This is what my business is all about, promoting living the aquascape lifestyle, and to be able to work with a guy like Paul Cafaro, influencing the next generation. My goal with my channel, I agree with the pond guy, is to showcase how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And on the Team Aquascape channel, which is where this is coming from, that's actually to showcase ponds done right, customer serve right. I was thinking we were gonna put this in the backyard. My certified contractors who came here before me, the day decided to make it a front yard pond. I like to say a water feature turns a house into a home. And this is a classic example. This is the first thing. And the biggest change for this is, this was just grass. And now look at it today. There's not a single person, not a pizza delivery guy, not a friend that comes over, not the UPS guy that is not gonna stop and look at this thing and just go, wow. What else could you put in somebody's house in three days to do it? Sure. Great team effort, good job. Thank Certified you. Aquascape contractors. We'll put links into their channels. These guys got here a day before me and when I got here, all they said was, Pond Guy, just finish it up. So I put all the rocks in, I <laughs> built the waterfalls. <laughs> That's true. True story on my channel. I actually got to work on the waterfalls and then Jack, I did pull all those plants out though. You did a fantastic job with the trees. I will give you that much for credit for sure. I love my job. So does Jack with his Triton there. Okay. And Ralphie with his Pondscapes hat. This is just so fun. And if you guys like this stuff, be checking this out, subscribing to this channel because we're going to be doing more with Paul Cafaro in the future. He's going to be in Chicago in April. We're going to film that. We're going to be back here in May showcasing his ponds on this channel as well. So check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow along as you showcase how people live the Aquascape lifestyle. Peace.